Sandra talked about just electric stuff, and pitch number one is a heater that's fouled to the backstop. Pay off one more time. High for ball four and a good start for Missouri. Jackson Beeman draws a leadoff walk to start the night. Carter out of the stretch, short lead at first for Beeman. Runner on the move, swing and a miss for strike three, and safe at second. First steal of the season for Jackson Beeman. I think, they're gonna call, I think they're going to call him out. Yeah, I think they're going to call interference. It was a nice job by Espinal just throwing right through Austin. Yeah, it went right in the middle of the, the base. By Coach Carrick Jackson, some veteran players, a lot of young guys as well. Out on strikes. Had him way out in front as Carter fans peer. Rustad got him out on strikes. Went to the breaking stuff. Kozul gone, two outs for Vanderbilt in the first inning. One, two coming up. Close pitch, strike three. So a strikeout swinging of Kozul. Three straight Ks for Grayson Carter as he fans Curry to begin the second. In Columbia, one, two pitch, Grayson Carter to the plate and a swing and a miss by Hernandez. Carter sitting him down one after another, four consecutive strikeouts. Carter's two strike pitch trying to sit him down in order. Swing and a miss. Fastball hits triple digits. On Tuesday night, 0 2 pitch, out on strikes. Hit up the steakhouses, the restaurants. It's one of my favorite things to do here. Liner off the bat of Troy Laneve, a first base runner for Vanderbilt, a two out single by the Commodore left fielder. I got to bring a rally, right? Vanderbilt basketball program. Well, the former players, it's their program. Long drive left field off the bat of Polk. And that one's not, oh, oh it's just off the top of the fence. Laneve at third, thought that was going to leave the yard. It stayed up there a long time. Vanderbilt has runners in second and third on the double by Polk. Well, that's, tough, that's tough in left field over there. You got yeah. to get it up a little bit. But. Davis Diaz, runners in second and third. Coppola is looking to take the lead here in the second inning. Fly ball, short right field, down toward the line, and... It's a foul ball. Nope, catch was made. Wow. Beeman went out of sight, but made the catch. Here's Carter's 2-2 pitch. Call third strike. He sits down Garcia. That is six consecutive strikeouts. Swing and a miss. Fastball. Just short of 100. Seven strikeouts at first, and we've seen it moved around a bit. Back out in center field and has his first knock of this series. Base hit the left with one out. But that right there, Kevin, is why he plays multiple positions. you got to find a way to keep his bat in the lineup. 1-2 pitch, bounce to the right side. The only play will be to first. He saw Garcia look towards second, but made the wise choice. He throws out Kozil. Two outs with Austin moving up 90 feet. Liner left field, gets down for a base hit. Austin waved to the plate. Throw coming in way off line. RJ scores easily. Espinal goes to second. The Commodores take a 1-0 lead in the third. And that was a pretty good pitch there by Rusta. A nice job by Espinal going down and getting it. And the, the throw by Curtis just airmailed the, uh, the cutoff guy as well as Hernandez, the, the catcher. Now trying to give Vanderbilt another run. He can't do it as Rustad fans Austin Fort to wrap up the Commodore third. 0-2 is strike three. Nice spot right there. And or you, you go to a new spot as a coach. You really got to hit the ground running, but now you got to hit the ground sprinting. Troy Lene sprinting around first base after a second hit and as many times up. He's two for two with a one out single. Coach Byington, I think, uh, got the, the right mindset. Paul hits one to second. Garcia trying to start a double play. Four to six to three. And the inning is done. Zoo team trying to find its footing in SEC play. That right down the line. It hit the base. That's a fair ball. First hit for Missouri off the bat of Hernandez. Digging for second and safe. Double on a close play. 1-1 one, one pitch with two outs, and that was going to go to the backstop, and it ends up in the camera well. Ball goes out of play, and so Hernandez goes to third. Some down angle break to it. Payoff to the right side. Austin Fort gloves, finds the base, and Missouri is done in the fifth. Ripped his pants, held onto the ball, and Diaz is hit by a pitch to start the fifth. Decent lead for Diaz as Vastine puts it down. 
The flip will be to first. Diaz goes to second with one out. Successful sack bunt for Vastine. Carter Rustad is fifth inning of work, really giving Coach Jackson a good start for this Missouri team. That one off the catcher, rolls to the on-deck circle, and Diaz goes to third. Ahead in the count is Rustad. Brings it to the plate. It's hit to short. This will get the run home. Throw across by Culbertson. RBI for R.J. Austin. Diaz comes home to make it 2-0. Rustad back out of the windup. One strike pitch. Line to left field for a two out single. First hit of the night for Kojul. One one, the count to Espinal. Hits a breaking ball towards center field. Coming on wow. and making a fantastic catch is Caden Peer in center field for Missouri. Head with a breaking stuff. That's a great sign. 0 2 pitch. Three straight. Three strikes and two outs in the sixth as Culberson is fan for the second time tonight. Fly ball, deep right field. Polk on the warning track. Back to the wall, and he got it. <coughs> Excellent. 2-1. Big bouncer right side and over Corona. Here comes Austin Ford around third. Here comes the throw. It's cut. And Vanderbilt takes a 3-0 lead. Jaden Davis doing the job. Vanderbilt adding a run with nobody out. Swung on and missed. Mid-90s with the fastball. K number nine as Pierre is the second out of the seventh. Trying to close out the seventh. Payoff pitch. Swung on and missed. Double-figure strikeouts for Grayson Carter. Putting a conference championship. Four pitch walk here to Vastai to start the seventh. From out that way. Runner goes. Pitch hit through the left side. First to third goes Vastai. Austin has his second hit of the night. Vanderbilt has runners at the corners and nobody out. Man, just a hit machine. That was a fastball that was man, a couple inches inside. Nice job going first to third here by Jonathan Vastine. And while we were watching, Austin ends up at second base. And I caught him napping and took off. Yeah, you saw both Culbertson and Garcia. Right side, gloved nope. by the first baseman. Everybody stays put, Corona to the back, one out. Smashed to third. This is going to be a double play as Austin feels the line drive and goes to the base. Hernandez at second at the time. 1-1 one, one pitch. And a second hit of the night for Mizzou comes here in the eighth inning as Curtis goes the other way for a one-out single. Easily uh, kind of turn the tide if they get few runs. Runner on the move. Pitch is high. The throw to second is not in time. Curtis has a stolen base. That makes him seven for eight on the season. He has been good in that department. One and one, the count to Garcia, the man at the plate. He swings one and one and sends a high fly ball to left. Long time for Leneve to wait. He makes the play, two outs. Yeah, that wake team was good. All the way to Omaha. This is a fair ball. Austin Ford on the backhand. Vanderbilt strands a base runner in scoring position in the eighth. Payoff is ball four. Leadoff man reaches for Vanderbilt here in the eighth. A game when you have the lead going into that ninth. Takes off on the first pitch, and Hewitt is out at second. Strong throw by Hernandez, the catcher. Past the mound, out to second. It's Garcia. Nice play. Close play at first. Davis is out number two. Continuing a long win streak here at Hawkins Field. And that will take us to the ninth inning as Leneve strikes out to make the game one start. And he has delivered big time for Vanderbilt tonight. Out on strike, oh. breaking pitch for out number one. Did that pitch count at 111. One out in the ninth, smack back up the middle. Only the third hit of the game for Missouri. Tigers have a one out base runner. One of the big threats in this Missouri lineup is Trevor Austin. And the first pitch from Genther goes to the backstop, allowing Bima to go to second with one out get hot so he's he's probably getting loose as he's doing it long drive left field Polk 
at the track, makes a catch. The runner Beeman tags, heads for third. Polk ran that one down in the gap for the second out of the ninth. Caden Peer, this one goes to the backstop. Runner coming down and will score on the wild pitch to break up the shutout as Beeman comes in to make it three to one. With two outs, Peer at the plate and Genther on the mound. Ball four. Trying to get that 27th out. Ball and two strikes. And that's all. Commodores take game one as Ginther fans Curry to finish it off. 3-1 the final. 12 state straight wins for Vanderbilt here at Hawkins Field. 4-0 in conference play at home. The story of the night, though, Grayson Carter, yeah. eight and a third innings of fantastic baseball. <laughs>